Hey, Shirley. Hey, Shirley. How you doing, baby? I don't want you just waiting there, but I thank you for being here, baby. How's all going? Tell me if you can see me and hear me pretty good. Let me know. <clears throat> so I want to welcome you all to the live today. So if you're looking at the replay, I want to thank you for being here. And I hope you enjoy your stay. All right. Hey, Container Crops, how are you? Good to see you. I hope all is well with you all. It has been a beautiful, beautiful Sunday, all around, gorgeous Sunday. Yes, I hope you all have been having a wonderful Sunday as well. So Shirley says she received the notifications ready when you are. Jump in, baby, jump in. <laughs> hey, Bella, how you doing, baby? Hello, everyone. Can, oh, you can hear and see me. Boo, that is so good. Thank you, baby. Hey, Lexi. Hey, Lexi. How you doing, baby? Good to see you here. So listen, guys, I've been having an awesome day. Just really good. Really good. Um, hey, y'all. <laughs> Let's see. Awesome. You look so happy today. I am so happy. I feel great. I feel absolutely great. God is good. He's good to me. Yes. <laughs> hey, Quincy, good to see you. Quincy, New Orleans. Quincy, are you are you from New Orleans? Let me know. Let me know if you're in New Orleans. Hey, Nolans, baby. What up? Who that? Who that? We did that today. <laughs> I had to go. I had to go hit up my boy Broke, you know? But listen, I, I want everybody to know that Broke and I are really cool with that. It's just a Saints Falcon thing, you know? You know, it's, you know, it's all about love, baby. It's all about love. But I'm serious. And I know he is, too. <laughs> but it's really cool. That's all. It's just, it's a love thing. Oh, God. It's, hey, Leo. Hey, 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 baby. Wait, I missed you. Hey, honey, how you doing? How you doing? So listen, guys, if you are not subscribed to the channel, you will not be able to chat with us. All right. So I know some people have their set for like five minutes, 10 minutes. Well, I have mine set for 24 hours, right? And that's just what I did. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, you will not be able to chat, but you will be able to sit and look and listen, but you just won't be able to chat. And then after when the live go off, you can go ahead on and comment, but um, subscribe and Tuesday we'll be back and you can hit us up. Why is all of this turning colors look like it's colors in there? I don't know what's up with that. But anyway, I hope you all been having a good day too. Let's see. Lavender for luck. Hey, hey, oh, she's speaking. <laughs> all right. Pure pondering. How are you, baby? I did get your email. I know I, I think I um I commented back with you, but I'm praying with you, sweetheart. I really am. I really am. Okay. Yeah. So let's see. Oh, we, I see Kim. Hey, Kim. Hello, Miss Linden, everyone in the garden community. Happy Sunday, y'all. Happy Sunday, baby. It feels so good outside. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I've been outside all day enjoying it, just soaking it up. All right. Gardener 99, how are you? Now, I'm trying to figure out if that's you who sent me this email. So if it's you to sent me the email, I want you to put on it because I don't know your name, right? I know you by Gardener 99. So put Gardener 99 somewhere on the email and I'll know it's you, okay? All right, let me know. I don't want to be calling no strangers, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. All right. Hey, Chris.
Crystal, baby. How you doing? Hello, t and Chad. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, baby. Hey, Nikki, Nikki, Nikki. Hey, Nikki, you so fine. You so fine. <laughs> you remember that song? Yeah. Hey, Miss Linda, I'm subscribed. I'm chatting. Hey, man. I know you are, baby. I know you are. So, you did get your mail. Am I right? Let me know. Yeah. All right. So, and I'm going to post this video tomorrow where I'm sending four people, four people, some sugar cane. Well, three of them, one, <clears throat> one the sugar cane. Uh, I think that was broke Dorsha and another lady. I don't forgot her name, but I got her address. I got everything. It's so already, I just chopped the uh, sugar cane a few minutes ago and recorded it for the video. And um, I'm sending it out tomorrow. I'm going to the post office tomorrow morning, sending all that out. All right. I started a response to your email, just got sidetracked. That's okay, baby. That's okay. I understand with my God. Yeah, I understand. Hey, Vesiet, how you doing, baby? Good to see you. Good to see you, honey. Yeah. So let me tell you, Vesiet, I went over to your channel and I seen the soup you made. It was amazing. I Look, I love, love butternut squash soup. That was really good. I enjoyed it. I, I don't know if I commented on it. I have to go back. Sometimes I get, yeah, I'll watch it and then I'm gone. I'm gone. Nah, I forget to, <laughs> to, to comment, but I will. But I did enjoy it. Yeah, I did. <clears throat> okay, I was, but uh, at the hospital with my oldest. Okay, I guess you're talking to someone, but I hope all is well with you and your baby. All right. So today, let's jump right into um, our fall garden, okay? So <clears throat> I have a couple of tips, but this is what I want to know from you all, all right? So we know that fall is a very, very short gardening season for many of us, many of us. I'm thinking that you all, ones that live in seven six and five and on now eight eight is kind of short but you know you still could do some things right so but i'm talking seven six and five you all have a very short fall season tell me how are you doing what are you doing to um get more from your fall garden let me know about that and I'm going to give you my tips. All right. Oh, okay. What you say, baby? I will be listening. Okay, sweetheart. Okay. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Gart Terry. Got you. Got you, man. All right. All right. Um, yeah. The black mission. Mm -hmm. We going to talk. We going to talk. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you so much, sweetheart. Thank you. Thank you. I play in makeup all the time. Yeah, I got a lot of it. I've, you know, I've been wearing makeup um, for many years, you know, being singing and being, you know, in in the public eye. You just, but I love makeup. I truly do. Yeah. Thank you, though, honey. Thank you. <laughs> I love that. She said to God and say, hey ho, I guess <laughs> it's a whole new perspective. <laughs> Crystal. Her name is Crystal. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> All right. Container crop. All right. Okay, baby. There we go. Hey, Nikki. All right. I pray your oldest will be well. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yes. 
Hey, OCD ish chick. <laughs> hey, Melinda. Good evening, everyone. I'm going to be listening while doing some late evening cleaning in the garden. I understand, my baby. I understand. Thank you for being here. Miss Linda was outdoors sucking up all that good vitamin D. <laughs> yes, Nikki. I was trying to get it. <laughs> Let me leave that alone. <laughs> I'm going to leave that alone. But yes, baby, that's what I was doing. Uh, let, let, let me just see this here. Hey, let's see if I'm by. If all goes as planned, I will go out. Okay, okay. All right. All right. All right, I had to read that real quick. Yes, my baby, got it all. Hmm, I got it all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, they're checking. Okay. I don't know who you're talking to, but good, you know, cool. Hey. All right. Everybody's speaking to her. I'm going to try to get down to the bottom of the chat where some of you may be answering my question for me. Right. All right. Thanks, y'all. Stand positive. Amen. That's, listen, that is what's going to get you through, my love. That is what you're going to, that's the things we need to make us, that's, that's what get you through. Be positive. Have faith. Yeah. Yes, I remember that song very well. Okay. Hey, Nikki, you so fine. You so fine. You broke my mind. Hey, Nikki. <laughs> so cool. I received your mail. Ah. Oh. Thank you, my love. That's so good. So good. Yeah, I'm so glad you did. Yeah. And I do, I think I told you, <clears throat> I mailed another one off Friday or Saturday. So expect it. it it'll be there soon. Yeah, it was something else you won. And I forgot all about that, girl. You got to remind me sometime if you don't get stuff. Say, Miss Linda, what's up with that? <laughs> what's up with my stuff? I won't get mad. <laughs> you know, I'm going to say, okay. All right. Hey, man, how you doing? Hello, Miss Linda. I listen, I enjoy. Don't worry about what nobody's saying. You do you, man. Just do you. When you have a channel, it is your channel. You do as you want to do on your channel. And if someone don't like it, Keep it moving. They could just keep it moving. But I love it. I love it. <laughs> yeah. All right. So did you find that um, gum lemon scented? That thing is amazing, y'all. It's amazing. I mean, I never smelled something so lemony before that I grew in my garden, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, everybody's speaking. Our fall is super short here. Yes, man, yes. So tell me, what what is your plan to, to, to get more food? What are you doing? Let me know. I have some tips, so... I don't know what you're doing. Uh, hey, Cherie. Good evening, Miss Linda and everyone in the chat. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday to you, baby. I've been having a wonderful day. Absolutely. Yes. All right. Let's see. I like this. Look. Oh, thank you. So I wanted it cut because it is getting kind of full. But I'm thinking I want some um, I want some braids, so I'm gonna have to let it come out a little bit more. But then I don't like it too much when it gets in this stage. I like it real, 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 real short, or you know, give me some hair, <laughs> you know. But we'll see, we'll see. I'm in seven B, fertilizing, growing in different places to see what works, and praying, amen. <laughs> That works. That works. So let me give you one tip, okay? So the first tip is this. If you have a short season, if you have a short season, and say, for instance, you, do, you did not 
create your own starts. You did not start your your little starts inside early, like in August. You didn't do that, okay? I will encourage you to go out and purchase some seedlings, all right? This is this if you know you have a short season and um you need to get a lot of food in. Go out and purchase your seedlings. You know, the seedlings they have at the big box stores, you know, like um, collard greens and mustard greens and kales and all these other kind of things, uh, Brussels sprouts, whatever ones you like, and plant them, right? And when you plant them, drop seeds, all right? Remember, when you plant them, drop seeds, all right? So this is going to ensure that you're going to have more plants coming. They're, the seeds already dropped. They are dropped, okay? When you plant them, you've dropped them, all right? So another tip, if you see leaves on your brassicas that is dying, it's yellow, it's hanging crazy, it's, it's dead, you will, you know, you will not eat that, right? Take those leaves off the plant. And the reason is the plant will do everything it can to save those leaves. But really, we know she cannot save these leaves. So all of her energy is going into trying to save this these leaves. And it's not going to, the energy is not going to, um, to where we needed to go so she could get big and healthy. She's trying to save a dying leaf. Take that leaf off. Take those leaves off. Another thing, when you have dying and decaying leaves, that will cause insects to show up. So let me just tell you this. Pill bugs. Pill bugs. Now, someone said the pill bugs kill, eat. Those pill bugs eat dead plants. Yes, pill bugs will eat dead plants plants. But that's another thing that pill bugs do. Pill bugs will eat dying plants. So listen, it's like anything. Um, animals in the wild, when they're searching for food, they're going to search for the weakest one there is. That's the one they're going to try to catch is the weakest. So with your plants, insects will just charge those weak plants that you just have allowed all of these dead leaves and stuff to stay on her. Get rid of that stuff and make sure all around your bed is clean of dead leaves, especially dead, moldy, yellow. Yeah, y'all know what I'm talking about. Many of the weeds that we deal with in the spring and in the summer, a lot of them, not all of them, but a lot of them are going dormant, right? But we still have a lot of weeds hanging around. In your garden, the weeds that are there, they will take up the nutrients that you want to give to your plants. The weeds are will take them up. So the weeds will be getting big and healthy and your plants will be looking sick. <laughs> so get rid of the weeds. All right. So let me get to some of y'all in here because I'm just gone. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Everybody's speaking. Hello, Miss Lyndon All. Did a haul at the Dollar General. Okay. I found many gardening supplies for 50% off. Yeah. Then another 50% off top of that. Zone 5. Go on, baby. So listen, I went to Dollar General today too. They had a lot of stuff for sale for gardening supplies, but I just didn't need those things. Like, 
they had loppers and all kind of gardening equipment, but I really didn't need it because I just purchased a lot of that stuff. And yes, I did see it. And I'm glad to put it up here so anyone in the chat and anyone can see this, get on over to the Dollar General because yes, it is the end of the season for gardening supplies. So you can hit them. I mean, everything. Soil, they have soil on sale. Everything, everything. So thank you, Barb. Thank you, my baby. All right. All right. Peer pondering. I, oops, I miss you, baby. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, wait, wait, here you are right here. So you're talking about your daughter. Micah planted sweet potatoes and they are coming up well. We also planted Malabar spinach, strawberry, spinach, cabbage, green onions. Uh, okay, salsify. Large leaf sorrow, okay. Giant char, chards, beets, still have tomatoes. Awesome, baby. What zone you live in, Pure Pondering? Tell me that. Hello, everyone. Hey, Tina. Hey, man. How you doing, Stacy? You are amazing, son. I loved it. I loved it so much. Yes, I loved it. All right. Hands in the dirt. <laughs> I just tra transplanted some Parish Island lettuce seedlings to a planter outside. I have giant red mustard greens seedlings under grow lights. All right, as backups. I'm loving it. Yes, it has been um, in the lows in the O oh, and to the 40s and high in the 50s in zone five. I understand. And that is great because that's going to assure that you're going to have more harvesting done. So, yeah, that's great thinking. And the whole thing about gardening family is planning planning you and timing. Your timing is everything. Listen. When the season comes, whether you ready or not, is here. As <laughs> simple as that. That's why a lot of times you see me, I drop seeds almost all through the season, every season, because many times we get strange weather. I'm not going to be caught. I'm going to have some plants. Somewhere I'm going to have some plants because our weather we all know what happened in 2020. Things just went crazy, but I had plants. I do have a little um, greenhouse in my garage and I do put plants in there. I will be putting some plants in there, at least cleaning off one side of it because I have it now just for storage, right? But I do have lights. I have more lights than what I need in that thing. It looks like Sunday at noon in there when I turn on everything, but always have some plants growing. That is the uh, uh, the way that you can definitely keep on harvesting, right? Yeah. All right. Hey, man. <laughs> How you doing, bro? Just talking about you, bro. So what I was telling them is that you and I have this thing and it's good. You know, we ain't, we ain't mad at each other. We good. We good. But we serious. <laughs> but we good. <laughs> but you know, it's all good. And, uh, you know, Donnie was like, don't do that. Don't talk to him. But we know, we know we right here. Yeah, baby. I get it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Stacy speaking to everybody. All right. <laughs> hey, Andale. Oh, my. Okay. I'll be taking some bottoms leaf off tomorrow. Yeah. So, I mean, listen, baby. If you think about it, if you think about it, it's almost like if you have a limb, a finger, a finger. And it gets, it hurts. It get infected. If you let it stay, it can do some damage, right? But 
for leaves, for your plants. They will do everything to save that leaf. So all her energy will be going into saving the dead leaf that we know she can't save. But we, you know, because we don't know, we didn't know, we didn't know, but we know now, right? We know now. So once you know better, you do better. So to make, to help your plant grow big and tall and healthy, and if she have dead leaves on her, take them off. Take them off. It won't hurt her. Not at all. It's going to help her. Hey, baby, how you doing? Hey, good to see you. Good to see you. Hey, Bobby. Good evening, Miss Linda and Garden Community. How you doing? Hey, <laughs> I understand. Don't worry about it, baby. Hey, hey. So um, I did kind of explain to everyone, bro, that my, um, there is where you could set this thing, you know, for if you, if you're not subscribed, you won't be able to join the chat. You could have it set for five minutes, 10 minutes, you know, I don't know, 30 minutes or a day. I chose a day, 24 hours. That if you're not subscribed, then you cannot um, you cannot join the chat. But if you subscribe today, we'll be back on Tuesday. All right? <laughs> yeah, we can do that. I love that feature. I really do. Now it won't stop them, but it's gonna slow them down a little bit, right? Yeah. Hey, unicorn lady, good to see you, baby. Good to see you. All right. I work on those leaves every time I step into the garden. I can't stay ahead of them and Dale. Okay. So let me tell you this. So if you cannot stay ahead of dead leaves, then it's something your plant is lacking. Now, every now and then you get a dead leaf. I mean, you know, things happen. But if you constantly having dead leaves, yellow leaves on your plant, your plants is lacking, L-A-C-K-I-N-G, some kind of nutrient, right? So one of the things I heard, uh, I was listening to a video from um, Growing With Donnie. And Growing With Donnie did, uh, she shared with us the plants that she purchased from the two uh, nurseries that she went to. And one place she said is that, um, okay. Oh boy. One thing she said is that her her plants, I don't know which one of the plants she had, but it would not hold the flowers. Every time the flower comes, um, it dies. So then it's, it's lacking in nutrients. So if your leaves, every day your leaves are turning yellow, then you you are lacking probably some nitrogen. I don't know if you use 511. If you don't use 511, I mean, that's just my suggestion because 511 is great for your brassicas. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. All right, we read that. Hey, man, it's been a while since I've seen you. J3GS Farms, how you doing? Hello, Lady Linda and the Garden Fair. It's good to see you, man. Good to see you. Chris White, hey, hello, everyone. Joining in late. Oh, so glad you're here. All right. Oh, hey, Pete. Good to see you, man. How you doing? Let's see what you said. Bone meal and blood meal prices have really gone up here. So, yeah, so this is why we need to purchase those things in the summer. In the summer, um, a lot of times in the winter. So keep checking to see. Um, not the HH store, no, I mean the HD store. But the other store, they will have good sales. So, yeah. And sometimes they, the other one will, the orange store will. But they don't have a lot of sales simply because what they do is 
the products that they do not sell, they send them back and they get full, you know, money for them. So the other store, the blue store, that is the store that will give you sales. They have distressed plants for sale. Yeah, because they don't have that money back thing. They're going to pass on whatever it is to the customers, right? So, yeah. Hey, love notes. Hey, baby, how you doing? Hey, Viola. How you doing? Oh, she's talking to Broke. I was about to start reading. <laughs> Hello, baby. How you doing? Miss Linda, I think my tomatoes just got too thick. Too thick? So the leaves that aren't getting enough sun are yellowing. I found four more branches. Okay. I've been missing that. I pulled up on okay i don't know my love um i don't I, I i never heard that the plant get too thick and it causes yellowing leaves i don't know i don't know as a new orleans guard i said hi earlier but you were really busy. i'm so sorry man i'm so sorry hi how you doing <laughs> hey unicorn lady how you doing baby good to see you good to see you hey v how you doing i need to get some 511 i'm concerned about a small um the smell attracting animals but so many of y'all use it okay that must not be a problem okay let me just say this i have a lot of cats in my in my neighborhood I had two cats that lived on my property. I never had problems with them uh, in 511. Never. Now, I don't know about anybody else. So anybody who uses 511, put in the chat if you've had problems with animals when you use your 511. I, I've never had problems with them. And if I did, it was at night when I wasn't out there. So I don't know. But other than that, I've never had problems with it. I'm trusting that 2022 be a better year for me in the garden and going live. Yes. <laughs> oh, boy. Y'all saw that? <laughs> All right. We back. Whatever that was. All right. All right. Love notes. Okay. Pure pondering. The blue store here doesn't have much in the way of plants right now. Okay. And no sales on what they uh, do have. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, that's one of the things I kind of stress exactly is, um, be ahead of the game. You know, you can't, you know, if you, if you're doing this because you want to eat it, you know, this is not like novelty for you, you know, then you have to make a plan. You have to get your plan together. You must know when to drop seeds so you can have them ready. When you, when you get ready for your spring garden, Say, for instance, you start putting everything in your garden on March 1st. I'm just saying. Is that the first day you're going to drop a seed? So you want to plan that thing, right? So get her in some cups, get everything ready. And when March 1st comes, your plants is ready. Let's go on and get in the dirt, right? And there, right, Stacy. <laughs> Hello, everyone in the chat. Hey, Pete. All right. Okay, he talking to Nikki. <laughs> All right. Hey, Sunday backyard gardener. Hey, Miss Linda. Hey, Lady Linda in chat. Just coming in. Uh, in the home from getting in. So I understand, man. I understand. Cool stuff. What's up? Yeah. All right. Let's see. Can I give y'all another tip? 
on growing more food in a short season. So fall is very, very short. And before you know it, winter will be here. So to those who cannot grow in the winter because of, you know, very low temperatures or um, snow, yeah, freezing, yeah, then yeah, I grow year round and I do. Now, my coldest month is February. That's my coldest month that I have. In February, we usually have about two weeks, about two weeks maybe of cold weather. I'm talking about like in the 20s. Ooh. <laughs> and a lot of times we have uh, like two or three nights where it freezes. But as I say, I do have my little greenhouse in my um in my garage. And I choose some of the things that I use the most, like green onions, parsley, those things like that. Those are the things that I have growing year round. I'm sorry, in my little greenhouse, because I love to cook with fresh vegetables. Right. It does not attract anything to my yard when I use it. All right, Bernie, that's that's cool because it doesn't for me either. Hello, everyone. Hey, Auntie. Hey, my nephew. How you doing, baby? How you doing? So listen, guys, we're going to be on here for, uh, I guess, for another hour. Well, I'm only going to stay an hour. And after, oh, wait a minute, Pete. <laughs> Let me see. Um, and after, then we're going to go over by turf. All right. Menards is like um, Home Depot. Okay. Okay. So far, um, they're the only one left I can rely on to get things like peat moss, fertilizer, bone meal, blood meal. Yeah. So a lot of that stuff, I pick up especially things like that. Peat moss. And I always... Like right now, I got four big, big bags of peat moss in my garage. I don't have to buy none of that for a while. Yeah, no problem with animals. And I live in the country. Yeah. So I hope, you know, that helps you. No, I have not. All right, baby. Yeah. No problems with, with animals using 511. That's what they're saying. What's up, bro? <laughs> Hey, Turf. Yeah. All right. So, but anyway, as I was saying, my uh, my coldest month is February. So I still try to have something growing um, in there all the time. So another thing, if your leaves are yellow and you see it a lot, like pure pondering, like you were saying, is, um, yeah, give your plants some fertilizer. Now, I fertilize my plants every 10 days. Every 10 days, I give everybody, everybody in the garden, 511. That's what I do because I want big vegetables. Not I'm not necessarily in a hurry, right? But the faster I can get them big and grown, I can get more plants. And that means I can get more food, right? So that's what I do. So Crystal say my plan for this for this season, I guess, is to use 511 every two weeks to help my plants grow larger and faster. I haven't had any issues with animals. Oh, awesome, baby. Awesome. All right. Everybody's speaking to turf. <laughs> Yay. All right, he's speaking to everybody. Cherie is speaking to every, to um Sunday backyard former. Hey V. All right. All right. Oh, okay. Okay, Pete. <laughs> yeah. All right. He's speaking to everybody. I need to start 
trimming and propagating my little mulberry tree. Still haven't tried that yet. Need to study more first. Yeah, well, do that, baby. It's always good to find out more about something before you you get the cutting you get to cutting up your plants. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so do anybody have any questions about their um their fall garden? Let me know. All right. <laughs> what it do? Uh, our Swiss chard has been loving this fall weather. They did well in the summer, but now they look like they are going into overdrive because look, this fall weather is is great for them. You know, they love it. They love it. All right. So good to see everyone. You too, Andale. You too, baby. Hey, Alaska. Oh, wow. It seems, I can't believe it's almost October. I know, I know. Since the weather has been in the 50s at night, I wasn't expecting the moth worm to still be, well, yes, baby. This is her season. This is her season. I love what Bernie, Bernie got the little tent for her brassicas. I loved it, Bernie. I absolutely loved it. You and Sam, Sam, Sam shared it with you. And that is so great. Um, but yeah, that little moth, when you see her flying around, she's looking for a place to lay her eggs. So yeah, yeah. So the best thing to do is just check the back of your leaves all the time. Make sure, you, you know, she didn't lay any eggs and you'll be able to see them. They're little white eggs on the back of your. I've seen some people would like put um, duct tape around their hand, but have the sticky part outwards. And when they see these eggs, they would just touch them with this duct tape and, and the eggs would come off. I thought it was cool. Yeah. All right. It is, Nikki. It is. Before you know it, we'll be singing all uh, jingle bells. Hi, Miss Linda. Hey, baby. How you doing? Good to see you. I need to order a second variety of elderberries <laughs> yeah um i have crazy amount of elderberries just yeah we ain't going there hey new york gardener hi baby how you doing how you doing hey soil family hey baby how you doing how you doing Oh, okay. Parked at the end of the street. No problem with five eleven. Oh, okay. Hey, I, I've never had any problems. Here, so, yeah, I, I think you'll be okay, baby. I think you will be all right. Yep. All right. Uh, yeah. All right, guys. So you all don't have any questions. Um, I thank you all so much. Hey, Miss Linda and Turf and Chat. Hey, baby. How you doing, Deborah? How you doing? What'd you say, Pete? New Orleans Gardener, yes. You've given good advice about when to buy amendments on clearance and we're good for the next two years okay if not three yeah but i don't like what i'm seeing in stores okay well you know pick your poison baby <laughs> you know you know buy it on sale for less money 
know, buy when it's not on sale and pay the coins. Okay. Those are choices. Miss Linda, are there herbs that do well in the fall? Yeah, many herbs that does well in the fall. You know, um, see, uh, see, this is the thing is a, there's a lot of herbs that does really well, but I am not a fan of it, right? So if I grew it before, I know how it tastes. And if I don't like it, I don't use it. Like, for instance, I don't use a lot of um, tarragon. I don't use tarragon. Not that I don't know how tarragon tastes. I do. I've tasted many times, many times. I don't grow it. So, um, but if you like, I'm going to do a video probably in a couple of days. What the day is? Sunday, Monday, to probably Tuesday. And it's going to be seeds you could drop in the month of October. And I will definitely put a list for Miss Andale of all of the herbs that we could drop um, in October. But definitely parsley, because that's my number one. Um, celery. Definitely drop some celery. Okay. But I, I will I will have your list, baby. That's a good question. Yeah. My endive is growing. Go ahead, broke. Not sure what to expect next. So you do know what it looks like. So I know you didn't Google that thing, right? So it's really, really, it's it's a pretty, pretty um plant. I think you're gonna enjoy, it, man. And if you don't enjoy it, you're gonna have an opinion about it because you grew it, you taste it, right? And your experience is, is not because of someone else, it's yours. So that's cool. I could not figure out why my pumpkin would not form. And then today, and I looked over <laughs> the plant and saw vine board. Oh my God, damage. Yeah. My zucchini is doing well though. It's frustrating. It is. It is, baby. And that's why, you know, every day we go out to our garden, we have to definitely pay attention to our plants. Because in the spring, when we get ready to plant all our food, man, we are excited. We excited about planting our food because it's, you know, it's the season. The spring is the season for love and in and, and, and plants and growing and everything. Well, guess what? The bugs are excited too because they said, yay, they're going to have all this good food. So <laughs> this is nature and that's what you're dealing with is nature. So you must be ready for nature because she's coming, ready or not, she's coming. <laughs> so you got to be ready for her. Yeah, so... It's just like the video I did with the oils. I don't know who's, who saw it or who didn't see it, right? But in that video, it shares how to make a cool oil from your own home. It works. And it costs you almost nothing because you're using peelings and things that you would throw away. You would throw them away. So... You have to find something or just keep buying your neem oil because it worked too. Mm -hmm. I'm in Georgia, zone 8A. I'm just now planning my fall garden. Really? I hope it's not too late. So slow pace by growing with the livest. So this is what I suggest you do, right? This is, uh, this is September. 8A, I suggest you go out and buy some starts first. Drop your starts in your grow bags, containers, raised beds, ground, whatever you are growing in, all right? 
purchase some starch so you can have some, at least some harvests coming up, all right? And when you drop your seedlings, drop some seeds, okay? But you need to do that like yesterday, <laughs> all right? But I don't think you're too late. I think you can get it in. I really do. You live in 8-8, eight, eight. yeah, you, you can get it in, but, but get on it, you know? Yeah. Hey, honey, how you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you, baby. All right. Willie Dora. Hey, baby. Wow, food for... Okay, you talking to somebody else. All right, Bernie. <laughs> I can't wait to see how that tent works. Oh, I know. Bernie's tent is so cool, huh? It looks so good. And and it's big because it looked like when you put stuff in it, there was a whole lot of room you had in there. So that was really cool. Really cool. I liked it, Bernie. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, Pete. <laughs> Thanks. I'll try that duct tape. To remove those eight. I mean, you know, if you kind of squirmish, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So listen, guys, I am a uh, peace and love to all. Plan to go. All right, baby. Thank you for being here. Um, and parsley, thyme, chive, oregano. Nikki. How? Nikki got all those herbs. You see that? I love it. Thank you, baby. love the sweet spot and I definitely love growing with Hudson so all all three of those ladies was really really cool I enjoyed them you had a great panel there awesome awesome all right Ardain is that you hey no that's not Ardain I'm sorry <laughs> Miss Linda I'm a new subby from Turf therapy. Okay. I'm now going to attempt a small patio container garden in Maryland. Okay. Um, thinking some Shirley Chisholm greens, beans. So listen, if you're growing up on a patio, see, I was just talking about these ladies. These ladies I was just speaking of, they grow on their balcony patios, right? So, um, if you go to Broke, Broke Farmer's channel and watch his live today and you'll get to see these ladies, you can get a lot of information from them, <clears throat> a ton of it. So, uh, check that out. And then, um, if you don't come back at me and I'm going to steer you in the right direction. Okay. I'm glad you're here, honey. I'm glad you're here. All right. Let's see. That OV says, how long does it usually take for cauliflower to germinate? I think I bought a head, a bad pack of seeds. Ooh, because I've been growing seedlings since July and the cauliflower is the only one that hasn't sprouted. Well, it probably is a bad one. Listen, sometimes you just have bad seeds. And sometimes the seeds doesn't necessarily have to be old in order for it not to germinate, okay? But if your seeds don't germinate between seven to 10 days, I don't have time to play with it, especially in the fall, right? I don't have time to play with these seedlings that want to take their time to come up these seeds. So what I do is I drop more seeds. I don't have time for it, you know, so I don't play with it because I don't know what zone you live in. What zone you live in, baby? You know, I don't have time to, since July? Yeah, baby. Drop more seeds. It's okay. All right. My orange tree leaves are curling. What do I do? 
you go to Lead Farmer 73 because <laughs> I do I don't know anything um about um growing uh, orange or citrus trees. I really don't. I'm not uh, I haven't studied a lot. I haven't grown a lot of that. So but I know someone who have. Lead Farmer 73 is the man for that. So go check him out in um, I know you know him, right? <laughs> yeah, go go check him out. Good evening, soil brothers and soil sisters. <laughs> Many blessings to you all. You too. Wait a minute. Did I not just see you do a video on cutting a banana flower off a of banana plant? Let me know if that was you or not. All right. All right. <clears throat> All right, Pete talking to Pierre Pondering. Our French tarragon is doing very well, but it is weird tasting to me. <laughs> like a poor man's basil. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> so, family, uh, remember about the Dollar General sale yet going on <clears throat> now that the Grow Family Network told us about it? Yes, he always do every year. But yeah, I did get some pamphlets in the mail that told me to. So thank you, my love. I thank you so much. I got seeds for six cents. Yes, that's amazing, huh? Oh, yeah. The one that I went to today, they didn't have any seeds. So, and I wasn't, I wasn't ready for going all over to, you know, to go into many stores. Thank you, Miss Linda. That will be awesome to know. Uh, the herb. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Hey, Miss Linda in the chat. Hope everyone is having a blessed Sunday. You too, Renee. Thank you for being here. All right. Hey, Dorsha. Hey, Dorsha. How you doing, baby? I'm mailing your sugar cane tomorrow. Yeah. If you let the vine scroll... Now, who, who are you talking to? <laughs> On the ground, you can uh, help keep uh, your plants alive long enough to harvest and leave some of the melon squat. Okay. Yeah, all right. I got you. Mm -hmm. I bought some Georgia collard greens transplants and planted them, and they are all dead. Oh, my God. What happened? I don't know. <laughs> I truly don't know. So... First thing I would say is just off the top of my head, right? Hopefully you did not plant these plants in the middle of the day. Because if you transplant, if you pot potting up anything or planting anything from seedlings, you want to plant them in the evening. The sun is just too stressful for them. Let me know, did you plant them in the middle of the day? And if you did, that's the cause that they died. All right. All right. What do you do for it? Okay, talking to somebody else. All right. Good night out. Thank you, baby. Thank you for being here, best yet. I appreciate you. Yes, I love uh your bug video. All right, my baby. Yeah, you know, you gotta be ready for them because <laughs> They ready for us. Got some basil oil in the making now after watching you. Y'all going to love it, baby. You're going to love that basil oil. It is so good. Ah, my son and my daughter love it. My grandsons, they love it. They love it. Good night, best year journey. Oh, oh, yeah. But listen, guys, I'm going to get up out of here and make room for my nephew because he wants to go live and I want him to go live, y'all. And I'm going over there to support him, see what's going on with him. <clears throat> because we know that, of course, it won't be long now before they will be leaving. And so I'm just going to try to spend as much time with him here as I can. So I want to thank you all for being here. Miss Linda, okay, got got a question. Um, what kind of greens can I do in containers in Maryland? Thinking um, starts. Any kind of greens you like, baby. Mustard greens, collard greens, 
KO, Swiss Shard, Cole Robbie, Broccoli, anything you want to grow, you can grow in a grow bag. Anything. Okay? Put it in there. Now, I will show you some of mine in grow bags. <clears throat> A lot of my vegetables is in grow bags. I have some in raised beds, but I have a lot in grow bags. But you can grow whatever you want to grow in a grow bag. All right? Yeah, my baby. So you're in zone eight. All right. You you can do it. You can do it. Food, uh, food by faith. Okay. I mentioned that sale at our Dollar General, and they looked at me like I'm grown two heads. Who's Who who looked at you like that, Miss Peer Pondering? I want to be ready for the raccoons in our yard. <laughs> Get your baseball bat. <laughs> yeah, baby. We are zone eight, uh, eight. okay. So, did you answer that question for me? Did you cut down the banana flower? I'm going to wait for your answer. I'm going to wait. Because maybe I, maybe you said it and I passed it up. All right. During the fall, winter, uh, are we to cover the plants with straw? So... It depends on where you live and if it's snowing, if it's cold. Um, yeah, I mean, you have to do something to keep them warm if if you live it in that climate. I truly don't. Um, during the fall or winter, are we to cover the plants with straw? Yeah, because, I mean, if you don't, if you're living in a very cold climate where it freezes or snow, they they will not survive, even with straw on them. They, they will not survive. If you're talking about greens, no, they won't survive. Mm -mm. Hey, Tina. Oh, thank you, my baby. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> My deck doesn't get um, any sun. Can I still grow herbs? Yes, you can. So there, listen, many herbs and brassicas themselves, brassicas, they will do great in the shade. Wonderful. Wonderful. They will do good in the shade, great in the sun, but you still gonna be able to have a harvest, nice harvest, even with them being in the shade. All right. Yeah. Do you have holy basil growing? I'm loving the way I it smells when the wind blows across. I don't have holy basil. I do have some basil, but it's not holy basil. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. Let me get out of here. I want to make room for turf. All right. I thought I was the only one having trouble growing greens. 10A. <laughs> what? 10A, you having trouble? Why? You in 10A, <clears throat> the only thing I can think of is that it's too hot. So if you having trouble, um, put, your, put them in a grow bag, put them in a container and put them in the shade and they will do well. They will do well. They'll do good. I live in zone 8-8. Eight, eight. Yes. Oh, yeah, you could do that. All right, guys. I love you all. <clears throat> I thank you all for being here. All right. So, um, oh, thank you, my love. Thank you, container crops. Thank you so much. I'm going to try to get to the bottom of this, and then I'm going to get out of here and um, go over to turf. Yeah, all right, De Deborah. Yes, ma'am, that was me. Okay, okay, I saw it. <laughs> all right, I I'll be back. I'll be back over there. But I, I did see that, yeah. Hello, everyone here. Hey, hey. So I just cut down 
well, I did take, I had two racks of not bananas, but plantains growing. Uh, but of course the storm knocked it all down, but I did take the, uh, I did take my flower off also. Yeah. Uh, micro, micro farmer. Hi, how are you? Good to see you. Yes. All right. Hello, T. Noggin. Hey, C. Thomas, how you doing? Yeah, what's up? What's up, bro? <laughs> Hello, uh, Black Tropic. Oh, okay, all right. Everybody's speaking. All right, guys, listen, I, I, I'm going to miss you all, um, but I'm going to go over here by turf. Hello, broke. All right. I'm just trying to get to the bottom of the chat, but I see you all speaking, everybody enjoying each other. So that is really cool. I hope in some way that I help you all in some way to at least try to get more from your garden from this fall, because it's a very short, short season, but we can, we can get a lot of harvests in if we plant it right, drop the seeds, don't stop. Don't stop dropping your seeds. Like when you drop your seeds, when you see that seed have germinated and it's coming up, drop another seed. Yes. Yes. Drop it. You go eat, baby. You go eat. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, Turf. We are about to, oh, 10 minutes. Oh, that's okay. Oh, okay, man. Okay. All right. But anyway, guys, listen, I want to thank you all for being here with me on this Sunday night live and know that Tuesday night we will be back. Yeah. And uh, we're going to be finding something interesting. I'm working on something really good because I'm experiencing some stuff and, um, yeah, it kind of took me back for a little bit, but that's okay. I got it. <laughs> I got it. But I hope you all have a beautiful evening. Um, yeah, have a great evening. All right. I love you all. Let's see. Who said hello? <laughs> hey, how you doing? Forming in the city with Stacy. Hi. How are you? Good to see you here. Thank you for being here, baby. I appreciate you. Hey, Linda. Good night, Miss Linda and everyone. Oh, thank you, baby. Thank you for being here. Awesome live. Have a blessed night. Oh, you too, baby. You too. I'll watch the replay. Sorry, I mean, oh, that's okay, my love. We didn't stay on very, very long. But Tuesday night, yeah, we gonna do it. <laughs> yeah. We gonna do it Tuesday night, yeah. Good night, T-Nog. Blessings. And yes, you certainly have it all. Oh, thank you so much, Ann. Thank you. Thank you, baby. I'm dropping more seeds next week indoor. All right, GT. All right, man. Turf said he needed 10 minutes. <laughs> I know. I saw that. I saw that, baby. Yeah. All right, baby. Okay. Mm hmm Oh, you're so welcome. You're so welcome. Thank you for the light. Oh, thank you for being here, man. I appreciate you. Yes, I do. Hey, Yankee sister, what's up, my baby? Good to see you here. Good night. Good night. So um, probably in a video tomorrow, I'm going to share with you all a gift that my little sister purchased for me. And she sent it to me in the mail. And I was blown away, y'all. I was blown away. I'm glad I finally caught you like I'm so glad you was here, V. Yeah, baby. All right. Okay. All right, guys. We're going to get up out of here. And I love you all. Thank you all for being here. And I hope and pray that you all can walk away with something here and grow some great, great vegetables. Just have more harvesters because that's what I want. <laughs> All right, y'all.
Best yet, I'm coming over right now, baby. I'm going I'm gonna see this soup again. <laughs> Good night, babies. Good night. Hey there, Miss Linda. I'll be checking um the beginning of all. Oh, hey, Britt. Hey, baby. Good to see you. Okay, honey. Okay. Thank you for the live, the love, and the information. See you Tuesday. Okay, my baby. Yeah, honey. I love you. Yeah. All right. All right, y'all. Good evening, sister. Hey, hey, my baby. Hey, how you doing? Good to see you here, but we about to get up out of here, but meet us over at Turf because Turf is about to have his live. So I want to run over there and, and sit down and chill out with him. I could eat while he talk. <laughs> okay. But good to see you, Ellen. Good to see you, baby. All right. You all have a great night. Let me put something in the chat before we leave. And then I'm going to get up out of here. All right. Y'all have a great, great Sunday night. Love y'all.